everyone, and welcome to a new Nuzlocke for Games from Plays. I'm Gamestrom, and today, I you say Pokemon Fire Red, it's not. Today, we're doing Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. I'm making my dog walk around the back between the corners of my living room, so my family is finally gone so I can actually record. Thank you for shaking me with this. And he's saying, I'm sure he doesn't like the noise. So I'd like to explain why I'm doing, like, the pre-game stuff that goes on with most new Nuzlocke's. Um... You guys know that we haven't had a new Soul Silver or Coliseum in a while. That's because on my hard drive, yes, I am just kind of skipping through this early Pokemon stuff because we, we all know what this is. Um, but what happened with that is I was getting ready to add some stuff, but as you guys know, I have problems with my family with this, so I can only do it on very limited occasions right now. Um, but I went to load up my hard drive, which I kept all my stuff stored on, and my hard drive had gone corrupted at some time or rather. So, yeah, that was an issue. What do you want that rival's name to be? I always found the Kanto games were kind of slow for me, maybe it was just part of the thing because I started with Johto. I'm going to put your name as Butts. And also, I was, because this is my first time to play, I played through the first three gyms, um, just on my own time, so I kind of already know what's happened, so I know the ins and outs of how this game is supposed to work. So yeah, our rival putts. And, it says to give a randomizer option, no, no, and no. Alright. There we go. Let's pop it down. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna slow the game back down. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Putz, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. I was gonna admire how much of a dick Red Oak is to his grandson. Here you go, Gamestone. There's three Pokemon here. Haha, the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. I think I'm in a place that the rest of them died, which kind of means he's a crappy trainer. I suppose it makes sense with this being a Nuzlocke world. Alright, so we have Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander for our options in three Kanto starters. I'm personally going between Squirtle and Bulbasaur because they were very useful in the early game, especially against the first junior Brock. But, again, having played this before, I won't spoil it for those who may not have. I know a few things. But, it doesn't make this decision any easier, really. Mm. I'm trying to think. First thing, I think I'm going to go with Bulbasaur. Another one, because out of my three, I personally prefer Charmander as my favorite star, but I'm trying to think tactically here. Plus, I also know that there's a spot later in the game where we could possibly catch a Charmander. So, we can use that later. It's a male Bulbasaur, but I'm going to name you Ivy. Alright. And of course, Putz takes the one strongest against us, being Charmander. And now I'm gonna leave, and... Yep. First battle. And the way I run my Nuzlocke is, even if we die in this fight, it doesn't count. That's just how I've always done my Nuzlocke, because you can't prepare for this at all. So there's limits to what you can do to make this work. So I don't count this as Nuzlocke sign until the Pokeballs have been given. So we faint at any point there. Okay. So now we come over here. And I know we got healed up in between battles. And as again, we don't have Pokeballs. Encounters here do not start yet. And if we die, we can count. Okay, that's new. I didn't think you got to kill Aaron Zigzagoon here. The one I caught, because I was treating 
Like, I wasn't cleaning desks when I played this before. I was only catching one per round just to kind of see what I would be working with going in. Because I know it's, it's a very hard game to Nuzlocke. This is my first, like, true Nuzlocke, but I think, like, pseudo Nuzlocke rules, kind of, during that first run. Um, but what I caught the first time was a just a Sentry, which was very, actually very, very good. Like, I don't sleep on Sentry and Furt anymore after going through Coliseum, because, just because you guys ha will never get to see that, I did make it all the way through Coliseum. Um, I know I can't prove that because footage isn't there to prove it, but, uh, the Furret that I had my team swole made it all the way to the end of the game, was on my final team to take on the final boss of that game. That I find to be very fun. Ooh, Starly. Okay. That could be nice. As well as I forgot to grab some, we'll do it on our way back to three. There's no point in going all the way back now. But, it'll just cause a little bit of backtracking going back and forth. Okay, take over that. Alright. Okay, and last thing before we head out, grab this from his sister. Now we have time now. Okay, now we're still back getting back down so we can get our first encounter. What do we got? We have a Galarian Zigzag Doom, which frankly I am okay with. Like, I like Sentry, but like, I use Galarian Zigzag Doom in my place with Sword and Shield, which I can do on this channel because I have no way to record my Switch. So I am perfectly okay with this. Okay, I don't like that. Ooh, that's actually really strong. Okay. I'm gonna throw a ball here now. One, two, three. Alright, we call ourselves a Galarian Six again. Which, I should be able to evolve into options. I think it only needs to be leveled up at night. I believe how that evolves. Not 100% sure. Might have to look that up. But, either way, it's still a nice one to have. It be potentially useful later on. Mm. I'm going to name you. This is going to seem really stupid. I don't know why it popped in my head. It's because I was watching um, Yu Gi Oh! 5 Days a little while ago, and there's a character named this in that show. I'm going to name you Zigzag. It's a very minor kid, but slowly this name's already in my head. So I'm doing it. Go up, uppercase, space, and scroll again. Open oh, go. And shoot. Now I am going to speed up the game. Just because kind of menial task going through here. I want to check out that ability, though, on that. Pickup. Ooh, that's a... Ooh, and those stats are actually not terrible. Those are actually pretty good stats for this point in the game. Not the best nature, honestly, but... Could be a lot worse. Pokemon with Pickup are very nice to have. First, I like Pokemon with Frisk, which is why I kind of want for it. But... All honesty, it could have been a lot worse. Okay. Come up here. Heal up and get some Pokeballs. Because we have another few encounters we're going to be doing. Okay. Back up here. Okay. Go inside. Six, let's go up to even ten. Okay. Nice one of this fishing guy. An old rod. Now we can get our encounter here. Uh, in I believe it's Viridian. Again, I'm not a Kanto stand, so I don't 100 remember the Kanto map. Yeah, it's Viridian. 
Normals aren't keeping speed up through here because fishing can take a while. Okay, and we get Chin Chat. Rising. There we go. Bubble's not gonna hurt that much. Ooh, and it got a crit. And, only... and lowers our speed, but that's really not that big of a factor. If you think you can dodge me, it's on a guy, I'm going to throw balls at it now, because I feel like it would be crit that's going to kill it, and I really can't afford a loss at this point. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You guys have a Chin Chow. Male at that. Chin Chow can be very, very useful, because it's got a very nice typing of electric water, but also its evolve from Lantern is so incredibly bulky. If you guys watch my Pokemon XG Nuzlocke, you'll know that it was a very useful member of that team. I am going to name you Shimmer. Where's the H? There's the H. Nope, nope, two M's. Like, there's a delay on my computer for when the control goes in, so I have to be very careful with how I press. There we go. And now, going back to the PC, get up real quick. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna run over this rifle. I'm not gonna go too far here because there is a rifle here that we are not ready for. So, we're just gonna do our encounter. Ooh! 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 I. I'm sorry for the reaction. I love Rock Cross so freaking much. I love Rock Ruff so much. It is my favorite alone Pokemon. Stars BDF. I love Rock Ruff. I'm saying myself for failure because I'm getting too attacked already. I'm gonna just tackle it down. That was not gonna be very effective, but it's literally my only significant option here. So. Just Rock Ruff be a friend. I want to. I need you. <laughs> it don't sound terrible. It sounds like I'm lusting over a rock rock. I swear I'm not. I just really love rock rock. It's so cute. And also, like and rock is, uh, does form specifically is on my Pokemon Sword to a competitive team after the Isle of Armor. Okay, so we're not attacking anymore. We're just throwing the ball now. One. Two, three, yes, 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 yes. I am a happy game strong. Happy, happy game strong. And hey, Abby's level nine. Look at that. Ooh, we got a vine whip. Right, it's a female rock rock. Oh, I want to do something nice. something good because I love Rock Ruff. Mm. I know, I know. I don't know why it's just popped in my head, but I'm gonna name you Yuna. Don't ask me why that's the name I'm selling now, because I honestly have no clue. Oh no no, I got better I got better one. Back 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 back. That one even better. I'm gonna name Luna. I found you at night. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Also, we need to go back down to Pelotown. We can get an encounter there, too. I can put down Poochiana. Interesting. And we can fish here. 
Okay, we got Tentacle. That's not a great mod overall, but could be a very nice member of the team. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to throw balls at it. Because Tentacle doesn't have a particularly hard catch rate, I don't think. I don't think it should be that big of an issue. One, two, three. Alrighty, we caught ourselves with Tentacool. And now, I'm going to name you... Where's he is? And no, I'm not naming Squidward. Because that's a dead meme. I see so many people name their Tentacool Squidward. I'm going to name you Squilliams. After Squil Squidward's nemesis. Okay, so let's check on abilities. Oh, bro, pick up Volto Absorb. That's a really good ability, and stats are actually not that bad either, with having an up special attack stat. Really wish it wasn't a speed down nature, like I wish it was an attack down nature, but we could potentially change that later. Oh, that's a really good. It's got Frisk, which really isn't a great ability, but honestly, like, the, that's a good stat, or, well, not great stats, because it's got a A plus for special attack at best, but it's got a good nature, with being attack of special attack down. Clear buddy, so we can't have a stats lower, it's got great HP stat, an okay speed, and a decent enough nature, so it's going to be mostly a special attacker, so it's not great, but not terrible. Oh, I forgot to check what Ivy's nature is. Attack down, special attack up. That's another really good nature. Ivy. Okay, this is actually not half bad. This is pretty alright. Like, you will not hear me complaining about this. Give it two episodes, I'll be complaining about, but I'm saying that for the sake of saying it. Saying right now it looks good. And an episode that could very much change for all I know. But I suppose we'll see. Ooh, interesting. I suppose that makes sense with being night and all, but. Okay, we're gonna run here real quick. Okay, I don't know how to toggle running. I guess there's gotta be something for that, but... Okay, here's the Pokemon catching tutorial. Teacher TV. Okay. We have an encounter here. Oh! What's this? Dex now. Okay. Some orange berries. Okay. Well, let's test out deck now, see what's here. Okay, so we could have a potential Kuchina, which I really don't care for. I'm just gonna chance it at this point. Yep, it's a Kuchina. Kind of was feeling that it was coming. I'm just gonna throw a ball at it, honestly. And then we got Kuchina. Oh, we have two dogs on Kuchina. I'm going to name you Papa. I'm kind of feeding up a lot, so this is mostly just because this is early game, so I want to just get the adventure really start so we can dive in. Now for the forest. Ooh, that's, that's a really rare encounter. It's a really good level. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. I don't want to lose this. I'm gonna buy because I don't think you'll kill with the level that's set up, especially now that it's brown. Oh, it has a berry? Okay, was not expecting that. I'm going to tackle now because I am not okay with a crit. If it crits again, then Ivy is gonna kill if Ivy crits. I actually really like having a Pikachu that can evolve. I'm gonna throw a ball and see what we can make happen. That's a really good encounter, though. It's a really rare encounter in the forest here. Yes! Okay, 
Yes. 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 Do the level 10. Do the Nick Pikachu. What do you want to name you? Hmm. Hmm. When you Volka, like Volt, and then like Ka, like Volka from, um, I think that's how you pronounce because some other name from Hadrian Dragon. Don't ask me why that came to my head. Just did. It's just kind of how this stuff goes. Where's my K? I don't even know that's how you spell her name. That's how I'm spelling this. So we have Volka now. This is a very, very good encounter. I want to see what... Oh, wait, it's going to be in the PC. Oh. Somebody, what? Probably probably has Intimidate. It's Quick Feet. Ooh, I was really hoping we have Intimidate. It would have been really nice. But this isn't awful. But, honestly, I'm going to go put Pupper in the box. I don't know when we could potentially get a Thunderstone, but honestly, like, right now, still really good encounter. So let's just see. Static. So not terrible, not great. <sighs> could have a better nature, honestly. But at least has a really good speed stat. So we got Thunderstone. Not terrible. But it does have a great special attack stat, even though... Pikus are mostly special attackers, but again, I can make it work. Still better than Pupper, honestly, since Pupper doesn't have intimidate. If Pupper had intimidate, I'd probably keep him on the team and put somebody else in, but honestly, the, I don't like the cookie ability. And Zixi has an item, so I'm gonna take that. A Max Repel, okay. I have to remember to check on that. And then I'm going to put. Well, what was it? What does Luna have? Does Luna have a rock move? No. I'm gonna switch Luna up front, because I want to do some training, because we do have a fight that we can't avoid coming up. Okay, that's not... I forgot Luna had first, I was wondering what I was seeing. And also, like, I really do like having Pokemon Frisk. Just because it doesn't let me get certain items. Like, I, there's a Google Street that I have access to where I can just tell. So I can just go to a Pokemon and then just use Thief on it when I get Thief. But, honestly, like, I really don't want to have to waste my time doing that. Ooh, we could have a Shinx with Intimidate? Oh, that would have been a really good one, too. Not a good Monzo. And a Silicor, but not quite as good, but honestly, could be worse. At least Silicor would have actually been useful against Brock. Okay, Luna is going back. Uh, William, you can spend your time with Brock. I'm a Reap. Of course, though, with the one thing the Scorpions can't fight. Um, we'll go Shimmer. Wasn't sure if he was going to have an electric move yet or not. Didn't really want to use it. That's going to be fun. Kind of. Hmm. So I'll put Volka. Front. Wait, I'm going inside the forest for Polka. Wow, another Pikachu. 
So I'm gonna switch over to Ivy just otherwise it's not gonna be working too well. At least this one I don't have to worry about killing. And we got plain eyes, I have no idea. Another one. Okay, I was saying this was a rare card. It might not be as rare as I think it was. What's plain eyes doing? Okay, so that's not a terrible move actually. The lowest on most stats. Could be a lot worse. Fine whip. Okay, this feels like it. What is going on here? Like the entire other time. Okay, that's more what I was expecting. I'm, let's just be that patch that gives out Pikachu, I guess? I don't know. That seems really odd. Or maybe not. This is honestly confusing me a little. But besides, Sandy Shimmer, it literally has no moves that can actually perk Trunks. This actually isn't terrible for bringing Shimmer up. And we got Thunder Waves, so that's a good browse system. Okay, what is going on with all the Pikachu? This is also confusing me. Pikachu. Like, when I first came through here, when I was just playing this on my own time, when I was just testing if I wanted to actually do for Nuzlocke, I did not see, like, a single Pikachu running through here. Was, maybe it was the time of day, because I was playing the, the daytime for that one. But, like, I'm so confused. I think we're at a fine enough level to go into this next fight. If I'm going to run back and heal, so I'm going to get through this fight first. We can do a lot of stuff later. And the reason I'm doing this fight is because after you do this fight, you get a very important item, which will help a lot. And doing grinding or anything we do next episode. So I'm just doing this now. Hmm, there should be a Joltik somewhere around here. Oh, hello. I'm trying to catch some Pokemon for our challenge bra. Oh, you're looking to challenge him as well? Why don't we have a battle then? Alright. So we have Pokemon trainer Brendan. Drop a Corphish. We have Ivy up front. So this should be kind of a no brainer win. Only oh, one shot without it. Cool. Actually, a really good start to this. And so this is Trico, which we are much higher level than, so I might just be able to do this with Ivy. I thought he had higher levels, honestly. Like, I was thinking his Trico was going to be level 10. Honestly, this isn't going that bad at all. I. Like, I know what Pokemon they're going to have, but I don't know. I can't remember what levels are gonna be. Like I'll look up for like major bosses through the gyms and whatnot. But okay. Game show, huh? Here, have an extra of these. And we got the XP share. And the stats gym. So let's check um Pokemon's Eevees. Which does when I say later in this game, once you get to around search, EV training is going to be very important. And with that, we're reaching about the half hour mark. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. Catch you later.